Hello, CB here with a brand new playthrough. I'm not sure how far I'll get into this one, but I'm going to be playing one of my favorite Switch games of all time, Metroid Dread. Alright, getting into it. Um, I've, like I said in the beginning, I've played through this game many times before, so um, I know this first section of the game pretty well. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to be just uh, playing this while recording it. I just thought it would be cool to do this, so uh, yeah. I had to slide there. I'm gonna skip all the cutscenes and stuff, or most of them, just because I uh, just want to get to the game. Stuff. I, I will say this, when you start this game, or this or Samus Returns, the uh, most annoying thing in the beginning is countering the flying enemies. Um, yeah, it, it can take a bit to, at least in my opinion, it, it can take a bit to master the, um, the countering stuff. And the flying enemies just make it annoying at first, but once you get the hang of it, especially in this game, um, you can just go running around places, destroying everything. And this part's just gonna show you about the uh, hidden stuff. First missile tank. And now we get to the reason why it's called Metroid Dread in the first place. Because of this guy. So in case you don't know, these guys are invincible, like yeah, the, the missile I just did, did nothing to it. So basically, the whole point of this game is avoiding these guys and their select zones. Um, it can be scary at first, but it, I feel like if you played this game a lot like I have, then you'll get used to it, and this guy can climb, so I'm safe from him. Destroy this door here. And now we are going to take out this first Emmy. Um, for this one, you just shoot it in the eye with this uh, Omega Cannon, I think it's called. Although the rest of them, you need to destroy the uh, head shield first before you can uh, shoot the eye. Uh, and uh, I will demonstrate that for this playthrough. And uh, wow. Um, I've been recording for about six minutes, and uh, wow, I'm just surprised how how quick this whole beginning stuff was. And I mean, the game is still starting out, but uh, I don't know. I guess I'm just realizing how quickly I get through this part after playing this game a few times. Save right there. Almost got hit by this. Oh, I oh, tried to not get hit by that uh, biting enemy. I don't know if it's a plant or an animal, I'm not sure. I love all the attention to detail in, in this game. They did a very good job on it. I think it's partially why I like this game, it's just uh, all the detail and stuff that they put into this game. I like the transition from cutscenes to um, gameplay, like this one right here, how it just transitions right into the game. Or well, first shows the map, but I love how it just transitions like that. It's it's so so nice, so fancy. I really like it. And there's the head mask I was talking about, or like the head plating that they'll have that you'll need to destroy with the Omega Can once you get it. 
And then after that, you can shoot it in the eye and take it out, but uh, that will not be until a little while because I need to explore this place more. And he's gonna try to kill me because that's how these guys work. I'm sorry if I seem very casual about this, I've just played this game so much, so... These guys don't really scare me anymore. Though they did scare me at first. On my first day, I was... scared in a fun way. It was... It was a good time. And I just need to wait for him because uh, he cannot go for this little crack right there. Just realized I never used the, uh, the arm gun or cannon to um, point at something. I guess then again, this is my first time recording this game. Oh, I hit by this like there. Just think. There goes that planet thing. And uh, one heads up is I do know this beginning area pretty well, but the other parts I do not know as well. So um, I might get lost every now and again. I'll edit it and stuff, but uh, I might get lost in this map a few times just because I uh, don't know how to like it back my hand like some players do. Anyway. There's the enemy. Going to go around him. I love the uh, the Emmy's design. Oh, oh yeah, that's the name of these robots. This Emmy, uh, E M M I. Just gonna blast through some walls there. I believe. Oh wait, no, I'm trying to remember where I'm supposed to go. Um, I I know I'm going at this point, but I uh, sometimes I get ahead of myself. Remember the first time I played this game, I got lost in this area. Or one of these underwater areas in this first section of the game. Uh, Artaria, I believe it's pronounced. The, uh, the region that this is in. On this, uh, on the planet this game takes place on. Going to save again. Ran into that, of course I did. Okay, that's, uh, anti raping in this game. Yeah, oh, oh, oh alright, yeah, this was the place I got lost. Um, First time I played this game. Yeah, yeah, I remember getting lost in this area when I first uh, played this game on uh, October eighth. I uh, got this game on it on the day it released, and I will say, in my opinion, it was worth those sixty dollars I spent on that. Very good game if you like um, some action packed bosses and uh, some. Or at least in my opinion. Or, and I guess also if you just like some ways. And that shows the map of the entire area, or all the areas that we can explore. I tend to say that every time we find a saving spot, just because, um, if something happens to the switch, like it crashes or something. Not, I'm not saying it's likely of crashing, but if it does happen, then my fingers are safe. Hmm. Oh, okay. I missed it. Just gonna jump over these enemies. I just realized I haven't gotten any suit upgrades yet. Oh, okay, now I remember. Right, now I see. Yeah, yeah, I did know this game pretty well, but or I know, I know this game decently, but I do get confused at some points on where I was supposed to go in certain areas. I'm not like a hardcore speedrunner or anything. Oh, I knew I was gonna run into that. I remember that guy was there, but it was all better. That little robot, I don't know if it, it's kind of hard to see. Him. Background, but there's like a small photo robot that was right there that I really need to. Anyway, hey, hey, buddy. I'm gonna wait for him to come close to me. Oh, you're going that way. Okay. That complicates everything. Yeah, 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 go that way. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, I can just look down. 
we rolling around at the speed of sound. The place is to go. And, uh, I believe the first upgrade is soon. And that by accident. Oh, yep. The uh, charge beam is the first upgrade in this game. I'm not sure if it's, um, how easy it is to read on the, uh, camera screen. Um, yeah, sorry if this is kind of hard to read. I can explain what each of these power-ups do. Um, so the charge beam, you just hold Y, uh, and you can charge up your laser attack. And uh, it's kind of like Samus is neutral B in Smash Bros, but it, isn't as, it doesn't get as big. And, uh, and now, sorry, I can talk. Now we just do a loop around and go this way. Ooh, is that creepy thing in the background? Oh, wait, no. No, that's just a little different. Um. Yeah, there's like these little deer things in this area that are like in the background. I really like, like details like that are what I really like about this game. And it goes the other slug thing. Like, oh, this goes the right that way. And then I don't think so. Jump over that thing because it takes forever to kill. Got that little manta ray. Wait for you to. There we go. Mm. Oh. Mm. Trying to be fast there. I feel like sometimes when I try to be fast in this game, I end up being slower than it would usually. Mm. Oh, right. Charge beam door right there. Alright. Next enemy zone. And now. I believe this is on time when you take out the first Emmy or second, if you count a broken one as one Emmy. I honestly don't really count a broken one as an Emmy because that's more of a tutorial Emmy, how to take them out and stuff. Okay, that works for me a lot, buddy. Thank you for going up that way. You really benefited society. Um. Oh no. Um. Please don't be up there when I. Okay, I don't think he is. He could be. Oh, yep. There he is. That's <laughs> right. I cannot. I might have my first casualty in this run here. Oh, maybe not. Um, am I supposed to go this way again? Yeah, I feel like maybe I don't know this game as well as what I did. Oh yeah, yeah, I yeah. am. If you see the invisible um thing that just is crawling up that tunnel right there, I believe that shows that you're supposed to go this way. Oh yeah, now I remember. You uh, go up here. Get another missile tank. This wall. This game has like hidden walls that, um, uh, do I'm sorry, I just thought there. Um, this game's paths are sometimes hidden through holes that you that you need to shoot through, or bomb through, or shoot missiles at. Um, yeah, so it's uh, it's what these games are popular for. Magma, so that it'll open some doors. Mm. 
kind of weird that I was going to get hit by that enemy there. <laughs> kind of the P4 core. Mm. Yeah, I'm supposed to go this way now. Oh yeah, oh wait, I need to do the briefing. Okay. Oh yeah, okay, right, I need to slide down there, alright. Now we encounter a mother brain. Uh, no, no, I mean um, some uh, wannabe a mother brain. Uh, yeah, a boss that's very similar to mother brain. And uh, literally all I do for these is just stand here and just shoot missiles. I wouldn't recommend doing this on dread mode just because in dread mode anything can kill you with one hit. But uh, for this, I'm just gonna just stand here and shoot. Just rapid fire. Rapid fire. Alright, there we go. And now this will give me the Omega Cannon so that now I can take out that guy who's been hunting me for the last, uh, I think, uh, 10 minutes. Okay, so to take out the rest of the enemies in this game, you need to shoot like this and destroy the mask thing or the helmet or. Uh, shell, whatever you want to call it. Then you shoot the eye. Um, yeah. Oh, I think I took my few tries when I first played this game. Alright, where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. Just find a nice narrow path and then just spam this until he comes creeping toward me. Destroy his outer shell, helmet, mask, whatever you want to call it. And now I try to charge up the uh, Omega Cannon Beam. And I shoot the eye, and now he's done. And now I will get an, an upgrade called the Spider Magnet, which allows for me to climb up those blue walls you see, you've probably seen a bunch throughout this map. And I wish I could skip this cutscene. There's the spider magnet. Alright, now I will demonstrate what the spider magnet does. So where's the blue wall? <laughs> where's the blue wall? Um, here we are. But yeah, so you're able to just climb this. Alright, so now I believe our next step is um, to take out the first boss. Hmm, I want to hit that little bug thing. More of a little bug thing hit me with um, that little bouncing ball projectile. Okay. Mm. Oh, right, I need to go up there. How do I get there? Almost got hit by the slug. I need to go up this way. Run through this and go through that one path that I cannot go back through because I do not have the morph ball yet. Now check out. Mm. I'm trying to do a playthrough here and you ruined it or you ruined my groove. It's like Denver's new groove. You threw off my groove. Anyway, ignoring what just happened, now we are going to take on the first boss fight that is in this kind of um, red sandy arena that kind of reminds me of that one Star Wars movie. And now, if we look behind the camera, maybe we can see something that's not right, and it's some weird scorpion looking thing that can camouflage. I'm not sure what exactly this thing is inspired by. Except for a scorpion, because it has a barbed tail like a scorpion, if you can see right there. And, uh, I... Oh well, I'm just going to ignore that to happen. And this guy has three phases. The first phase, you just shoot missiles at his face, because... I guess his face is the only weak point in this first phase. And there we go. It's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. I've played against this boss countless times, so that's why I'm, I'm doing pretty well. 
But yeah, this game can be pretty challenging if you're new to it. Um, this is I've heard this is a very challenging game. Luckily, they have a rookie mode, which makes it a little easier, or somewhat easier. But uh, yeah, if you're thinking about purchasing this game, just a heads up, it is very hard. Anyway. Oh, you're gonna do the, uh, yeah, okay, you're gonna do that attack. Oh, yeah, another thing with this game's bosses, you need to, um, kinda, they have, like, a pattern they do, and, like, you need, like, if you read their animations and stuff, and understand what animations mean, what attack they're gonna do, um, you can, um, do better at winning the boss if, um, you know what I'm gonna do, do next. And also, no attack is unavoidable. Alright, um... Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm also out of missiles. Good job, CB. You got out of missiles. Just intensely shooting the Y button. Or, not shooting. Pushing the Y button. Oh, my goodness. Oh, now I slide under you. Counter you. Now I do this commercial animation where I uh, stuff your face with missiles. And I think you're... Okay, you're not dead yet. Okay. <laughs> there we are. Okay, now now we get a cutscene where Samus will finish this thing off. That stance. Charging up a charge beam in this cutscene. And uh, just uh, squishes a thing with that statue. And now, I get another upgrade. Oh yeah, defeating bosses usually gives you upgrades, or some bosses, most bosses give you upgrades. This one being one that will be particularly useful for those enemy that are, that are hunting me. And that is the Phantom Cloak. This bad boy allows for you to turn invisible for, um, a little bit. So if we observe, it can turn invisible. And if you move around and stuff, then it drains the thing faster, I believe. Oh yeah, like me shooting there, drained it. Oh yeah, and if it drains the... Here, yeah, let me... Okay. One second, I'll take you guys back in a moment. Alright, so see that little, that yellow beam up there? That is how much um, longer you can stay invisible without it draining your health. And uh, also, I couldn't get the health in the little camera screen, unfortunately. But uh, my health is like up there. It's like a number. And it has like a purple square right next to it. Anyway. So, I think... That'll be good enough for um, episode one of Metroid Dread. Oh wait, I'm not uh, Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna find the, the nearest saving point and save this game. And I can pick this up, at, this up again another time. Anyway. Oh, I'm out of missiles again. <laughs> okay, I can just use this. Anyway, as I was saying, um, have a great day. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like it. And I will see you in part two. See ya.